Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to search the database U.S. Major Dailies at OCC. What we're going to do is start off on the Orange Coast College website. We're going to scroll down to Top Searches, then to Library. Then over here on the side, we're going to click Databases A to Z. Since U.S. Major Daily starts with a U, I'm going to click on the U, and that will take me over to U.S. Major Dailies. You could also just scroll down that page if you want as well. This database covers major daily U.S. newspapers, such as the Los Angeles Times, the Chicago Tribune, the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. This is a really great place to start whenever you're doing any kind of newspaper research because these five papers are considered to be the best newspapers in the country. So they are much more reputable and much better place to start for your research rather than um, searching a local paper or a smaller paper or a paper from another country. To get started, I'm just going to click on U.S. Major Dailies. Here I can enter my search terms. You want to search this like you would any library database. Um, it's best to not put sentences in, but to put keywords in and join them with the word and. If my topic is the legalization of marijuana, I probably would want to type in something like marijuana and legalization. And then I can click um, the magnifying glass. I'm going to come up with 11,000 results. This is actually quite a bit of uh, results. We probably want to narrow this down. Um, generally speaking, because newspapers are a snapshot in time and because newspapers tell you what's going on at the time they were published, um, they generally don't give you a complete picture of what's happening with any topic. So generally you're going to want to narrow down your time range. So if I'm doing the topic of marijuana legalization, I probably am not interested in things that are from 1980. Um, so what I can do here is enter a date range, or I can scroll and um, use this little slider to choose a date range. So what I might choose um, here is 2010 to 2019. That's a pretty good date range. Um, generally speaking, you don't want to really want to look at things that are over 10 years old for most topics. So I can click update, and that narrows down my result to 8,000. Now that still is quite a bit of search results, so I could narrow this down further if I wanted. And you'll notice that because I've already narrowed it down to a chunk of time, I can actually do it by year here. Um, the graph also represents how many results are in uh, each year. So if I want, I can say I only want 2014, click update, and again, my number of results is going to narrow it down. Um, you could also narrow this down further. You could type and and then put California or another state. Um, and it's going to narrow down your results even more. So now I have 2,500 results. Um, as you can see, just adding one word really can narrow down the result set that you get and give you a more accurate search result. Now, if I wanted to read any of these, you'll notice they say full text underneath. Um, you can click that full text, or you can just click on the title right there. This is the full text of the article. It's pretty short. Um, that's not unusual for newspapers. Um, all of your citation information is available up here, but you can also get citation information by clicking the Cite button over here. And this is going to give you an MLA citation. Now, it may need to be corrected, um, and you would want to correct it using the MLA style manual or other uh, teacher approved um, MLA citation website. You can save as a PDF. Um, you can email or you can print. I recommend that you pick one option and keep all of your um, research in one spot uh, by choosing either PDF, email, or print for all of your articles. That's basically how you search U.S. Major Dailies. If you need more help with this database or any other database, please contact the OCC librarians and we'll be happy to help.